So we're going to go ahead and bring you uh, a fairly quick review actually. We're actually going to bring you a review on the Ta uh, Tapco uh, T6 stock actually. Uh, this particular stock has been on my AR-15. I generally do a pulmonary review, but honestly, I forgot to do it. So this is the full blown review on this particular stock. And we'll show you that. I'll try to add up tape pictures. If you need close ups, you know, let me know. We'll do what we gotta do. Anyway, uh, this stock, um, what you see here, uh, this is an entire kit that you get from Tapco. So you get the stock, the buffer tube, the, the lock ring, and the uh, latch plate retainer plate, whatever you want to call it. You also, it includes the buffer and the buffer spring. You can pick up this kit for anywhere from $70, $80. I, uh, I like this particular one just because, um, well, I can't say I like it or hate it. It's a stock that works. I basically picked it up because it was what was available at the time to uh, finish my AR-15, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, this one is a commercial grade buffer, so if you know the difference between a mil spec and a commercial, the commercial buffers are slightly bigger in diameter. If you look on the bottom here, this is a four position stock, um, four position tube. And, uh, you know, for the kit and for what you get for about 70 bucks, it's a pretty good buy, especially if you're just starting out and you just need a stock in the meantime. It is a great buy. Or if it's a stock that you plant that you just like, it's a good buy because you, again, you get the stock, the buffer tube, the latch plate, the locking ring, the buffer spring with buffer for right around 70 bucks. They are very robust. Um, not a lot of people associate Tapco with being robust. Uh, some of their magazines are, eh, they are what they are, they work. I did a dirt test on an AK magazine. It failed miserably. And, uh, you know, they weren't designed to be, no magazines designed to be in the dirt, but it is what it is. And again, this is a four position, uh, um, four position stock. Uh, it does have a lot of stippling right there. You can see that. There's a lot of stippling in the back, so you do have good, solid, positive shouldering with it. Um, it sticks into place. You can, they all, Tapco also offers the rear, the uh, rear of the stock. You can actually get a rubber, um, rubber, rubber overcoat or rubber uh, recoil pad that you can actually just slip on the back of here. Not that you need it, but it sits in the shoulder better when you do that. And this is, ba this is based off of like my SKS. My SKS has the same style of stock. If you go ahead and put a recoil pad on there, you are, um, you're more capable and it sticks in your shoulder better versus plastic against plastic. Um, it's very positive for doing your adjustments. There's not a whole lot of play, there's not any rattle. Um, it's very tight, but uh, you have to ex expect some, some rattle on a collapsible stock. It's just to be expected. I don't expect everything to be ab absolutely perfect. Buffer spring, um, it's made out of your standard uh, standard spring steel. Um, it's very robust, um, very simple, very unique, or very simple, very, it's very Tapco. Um, I do like the spring a lot, um, but I don't always care for the recoil spring noise after each shot because you have that, you have that echoey sound. Um, the recoil buffer, honestly, could be a little heavier. Fairly light recoil buffer, um, but it does its job and it does its job well. It could be slightly heavier, honestly. Um, it would dampen a lot of that noise. Everything locked up positive with this one. Uh, again, if you're looking for a stock and you want to get one now, I do recommend them. Um, I've never had any complaints about Tapco, honestly. There's so many misconceptions on Tapco, it's not even funny. Um, also on the side here, you have different slots here. You can uh, adaptate a cheek weld or 
whatever accessory you want to put on here. Um, Tapco does sell a lot of AR accessories, whether it be their single point sling mount, to their stocks, to their fore ends, and much, much more. Right down to their chamber indicators. But uh, again, it's their standard M4 style stock. Uh, not a whole lot to say about it, other than the fact that this one is made in the US. I like United States made parts, so it is what it is. Good, good solid aluminum. Good, solid, high-impact plastic, which I expected, kind of. Um, I'm very up in the... I, I can't say a lot of good things about Tapco, but on the flip side, I can't really say anything bad about Tapco. Um, their customer service is outstanding, so if you do have something wrong with one of their products, they are outstanding. So we'll just give you a closer look on that. And uh, it's... It's a good design, it's a simple design, um, right down to your um, your latch for changing your position, that's, that's stippled too, so it is what it is. It's uh, one thing I like about this stock over I like my Mission First Tactical, it's a lot easier to pull your stock off, um, but then again on, on the flip side of that, I'd rather have a, tight, a tighter fit on that too because it's a lot less likely to ever fall off, so it is what it is. So, this is the Tapco Interfuse uh, T6 stock. If you have any questions or concerns about this particular product, feel free to, feel free to leave them at the bottom. Uh, this is Lock and Reload, and as always, I'll catch you later.